For those of you that might have missed uh, the my feeding thing for the Ghetto Grow, I'm going to explain to you guys the difference between an EC meter and a TDS meter, and there's more than one different kind of TDS meter. So basically, the EC reading is what every TDS meter is measuring. That's the electric conductivity in a solution, the amount of like total dissolved solids that are in your water. If you have nothing in your water, and you'll get a zero EC reading, right? Now, I have something in this water. I have per one-fourth of a gallon or a quart, I have half a milliliter of CalMac Plus and half a, half a millimeter of root accelerator. I also added a little bit of my well water to it, too, just for the hell of it, to keep it a little bit warmer because I'm about to water, water it for the first time. I like the water to be a little bit warmer. Uh, anyway, so I can also see what the temp is on this thing. Let's see. Temp is 75 Fahrenheit right now. That's perfectly fine. Right, so the EC reading, how it works then is it takes the electric conductivity and then it does a mathematical equation that, that is, this, is what, this is what a TDS meter does. So every TDS, TDS meter is doing electric conductivity. So there's no reason why it shouldn't have a setting on it that you can do both EC reading and or electric conductivity. A cheap one that works really good for, um, it's actually made for beer. Your girlfriend's making cookies over there. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's, a, um, it's actually a really inexpensive one for measuring the total dissolved solids of beer. I'm pretty sure it has a button on it that you can change it from, I don't know if it says EC or if it says something else, but it pretty much means the same thing as, as EC. There's another reading, I think mine actually has it here. I want to do me a favor, babe, and hold this in here for me real quick. And you need to go on the other side. Let me the other side over here. No, over here and hold this. Oh, like this? Yeah, thanks. Right, so if you look at it, um, hold it down until, they, until it blinks, then I can switch them. Come on. Why is it not? Okay, mm, there we go. Pumpkin spice. So you got EC, cookies. you got CF, you got total dissolved solids. Um, this is a PPM. We have another kind of PPM, which is 700, and that's just a different measuring. It's a different way that it converts it. So if you see something like 4, it means the same thing as 0.4 for the EC, and I think that's how the um, HANA Instruments does it. And the HANA Instruments one is the blue one. And it's square like that with the black stem. So just look up Hana Instruments uh, Total Dissolved Solids or TDS meter on like um, Amazon, and you'll see which one I'm talking about. You can also find it on eBay, and it's actually pretty inexpensive and it works really good. I had one last me for like I think two years. You just got to keep it in RO water um, or distilled water or something like that, and make sure you change the water like once a week. You just keep it in a cup and just leave it sitting there the entire time, all the time. If you're not using it, put it in that cup. Um, change the water like once a week so that it doesn't build up salt in it because it will. Uh, what I usually do too is have an, I have two different cups. One I just kind of use to to rinse all my all my equipment off with, and then I put it in whatever solution I'm, I'm sitting it in. Uh, you don't have to keep it in cleaning solution or anything like that, right? So the EC reading of the 0.4 is what it's going to measure at, and it might it might just say four on that particular model. But notice there's two different types of readings here. So 0.4, I have 200, and I have 270. Now before it was telling me 190 and uh, 270, so it's kind of changed for some reason. Anyway. This is a 500 and the 700, right? So, depending on what meter you what okay, that's good. I can go ahead and do the rest. Depending on what meter you buy, that is what total dissolved, TDS or total dissolved solids meter you buy, it's either going to do the mathematical conversion known as a 500 or known as a 700. And depending on where you live and where you buy it from, it will make a difference. So, if I'm using a 500 conversion method with the TDS the TDS meter, and I'm like, hey, look at my water is 200 and you have one, it's going to say it's 270, even if you use everything exactly the same way I did, because our meters are not measuring the same. They're measuring the same, but they're not converting it the same. Uh, so try to buy one like the Hana Instruments is a really good one for, for inexpensive. Make sure it's a square one for beer. That's the one that works really good and lasts a long time. So I think, again, I'm pretty positive it has a button on it you can push, and it allows it to tell you the EC reading. It might say it as just like 4 instead of 0.4, but it means the same thing. Just know that there's supposed to be a point in front of it. So if I'm telling you 1.6, it'll tell you 16. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's it pretty much. Um, so make sure to get one that has EC reading because that's what I'm going to be measuring as because it's universal, whereas the total dissolved solids aren't. And uh, just to you know eliminate that confusion, it would be kind of a bummer if someone's like, oh, okay, so I'm supposed to be watering with 900 ppm. And really, they're, okay, 900 ppm on, a, on the other measuring scale, the 700 one, is like 1,200 ppm. That's a huge difference. So if, you're, if you think you're measuring with 900, you're actually measuring with like 1,200 because you're using the wrong meter that I'm using. You're not using, not the wrong one, just a different one. So 
There it is, folks. That's the difference between EC and the two different types of TDS uh, measurements. So I recommend, again, to buy one that has EC. If, in fact, just get one that has only EC. Don't even worry about PPM. And if you're trying to like figure out when people are talking about PPM, you, there's a conversion method you can use, but you don't know what PPM measurement they're using. So when they say, oh, yeah, I'm watering 900, you don't know if, they, if they're measuring that with a 500 PPM or, or, or 700 PPM conversion meter. And because of that, the PPM is kind of useless to you. Unless they tell you which one they're using, then you have no idea whether or not you know, you're using the exact same one they're using. So EC is always a way to go because it's universal. Everyone will get the exact same readings. Right, there it is, folks. I'm watering with 0.4 right now for the first few days of my seedlings. All right, thanks for watching. Woo! Double peace. Pumpkin spice. Cookies.